Hi everyone, I thought I would share with you a, for me, extremely large haul that I made yesterday at Tuesday morning. Um, I have, I'm in the midst of changing both my organization in my scrappy room and the way I scrap too. And I think it's really helping. But what I've decided is that I need lots of ephemera, lots of stickers, and lots of like cards. Um, I am planning, I do have the Project Life, uh, what are they called? Pocket pages. And I'm planning on using those for uh, photos that aren't really, don't inspire me to scrap them or don't need to be scrapped. I have a lot that are really similar. And so I wanted to, I want to have lots of cards that I can put in there to fill up the spaces on those albums. But also, I love cards like the Project Life cards for using on scrapbook pages. They um, really, really work for me uh, for the way that I'm starting to scrap, which is basically very simple backgrounds with photos and just a sh <laughs> no, he said a bad word <laughs> sorry I cuss okay in real life I cuss a lot um, with just a load of ephemera and, and stickers and all these other embellishments so first thing I bought yesterday was this project life um, what's it called again I forget what the core kit. This is the little moments edition, and I think that I'm not going to open it up obviously because it would take forever. Although I am so excited to open these up and see everything inside, you have no idea. And what I will do, believe it or not, is I will go through every single card at some point before too long and I will decide which side of the card I am most likely to use. If it is a card I know I will not use, it just doesn't go with my scrapbooking style or with my uh, aesthetic, then I will immediately put it into a pile that is going to be either sold or part of a giveaway. I have both going at the moment. I do have a giveaway that will come up. Probably, it's probably not going to happen this month because um, I'm doing a major scrappy project this month. But uh, October, hopefully, it will. So anyway, so that's why I wanted to get this this set. And I love the colors. The colors are exactly what I like to scrapbook with. And $6.99 for 576 cards. I think that is a phenomenal deal. What's the original price they quote on it? Yep, 30 bucks. And I do believe that is correct. For $6.99. The only paper I bought yesterday was this Coordinations Premium Cardstock 20 Sheets in White. Uh, Coordinations makes great cardstock. I like the texture of it very much. It's really good quality. Two nineteen for twenty sheets is a good deal. And I was, I am so low on white. It's it's a joke. I have like stacks and stacks and stacks of um, pattern papers and of all different colors. I mean, like all of my color stacks are bigger than white. So I was like, no, nah, I need white. Okay, so one thing that happened uh, yesterday, I was I sort of fell in love with Jan Hadfield. I don't even know if I was aware of Jan Hadfield before this, but the one of the things first things I got was this chipboard sticker sheet. This is from the My Bright Life collection. It was two ninety nine, and. It is just, these are the colors I love. I love pastels and I love bright colors. And this has actually a great mix of both. I also like um, when there are words on there that in by and large, they are generic. They could be used for lots of different pages. And things like, I will always be there for you. You're very sweet. Hello. 
Um, happy heart. Love you so much. There's another hello down there. Those kinds of things, that works for me. And that works for how I scrap. Because I don't do that many, like, specifically birthday pages, specifically graduation pages, things like that. Okay? So there's those. And I thought those were gorgeous. Oh, I'm going to slip in real quick here. This is actually a Project Life set. And although these are more words than anything else, they are, again, very generic. Um, the colors are very soft pastels, and I feel like these are easy to use. And I should tell you that, again, with all of these chipboard pieces, all of these like stickers, everything, I plan to organize them into, they, I organize them by color and theme. So, like, if the general themes they go in just by color if they're a special theme I'm looking down like what do I have for a special theme right now I have special <laughs> that's because it's mostly unicorns right now <laughs> for my granddaughter's album but anyway yeah I'm getting into organizing my um, ephemera and stickers and things so it's easier for me to find them and use them these are beautiful butterflies. Uh, this is again by Jen Hadfield and it's probably very difficult to see but they are actually two layers. Yeah, two layers. I believe anyway. Or at least some of them are. I'm not sure. Maybe not all, all of them are but they're acrylic. They have uh, the sort of design in black or gold on the top and then the color underneath and they are popped up so they give dimension to a page as well absolutely love those 249 I felt was a decent price for this I certainly would never pay 499 I'm super cheap when it comes to scrapbook supplies so having a Tuesday morning finally near me because <laughs> it's only 10 minutes away um, that actually has a lot of scrapbooking supplies is like amazing oh and by the way this is my birthday money I'm spending on this um <laughs> This is Along the Way Ephemera. This is going back to Jan Hadfield. Gold, I feel, goes with everything and anything. Black um, goes with, and brown goes with pretty much everything and every, any, anything and everything. This cute little lady here will show up later, and she is so freaking adorable. This is what is in the entire pack. Um, I thought the houses were cute. The, the girls, the women, are adorable. I love bicycles. I think they can sort of, you can work those into almost any page. And florals are just, you know, my thing. Um, I primarily scrap girl pages. I rarely scrap a male page because it's we're a family of girls. So this works for me. This is, doesn't say which collection this is from. This is Jen Hadfield again. Butterflies, flowers, you know, my stuff. Um, that's what's in there. As you can see, lots of flowers, butterflies, a few words in there, a lamp. Oh, not a lamp, but it's a, I don't know if you can see that one there, but it's so cute. It's like an old-fashioned lamp base or cage with flowers growing in it. Um, and shelves with an umbrella up there. That's really cute too. And nice. And plants on the shelves. Yep, gorgeous. Um, they had so much Jen Hadfield there yesterday. It was insane. So this one is from the Heart of Home collection. So as you can see, a lot of gold on the top layer there. And then more neutrals there. There is a happy birthday sticker, which I will be able to use at some point. That's what it looks like on the back, and I consider this my most vintage looking pack that I got, but it's still, it's not tied to vintage. Like, you know, uh, cameos we generally, or not cameos, silhouettes we generally associate with vintage, right? But this, um, there's so many other things in there that I can use, so that's great. Another one is this, uh, 
ephemera my bright life um, in lots of bright colors in this one I show you on the back there very cool some of these like this one here I know and this one and I'm sure there's a bunch of and that one are on that chipboard set that I showed you but that's fine with me I don't mind having like a you know an ephemera piece plus a chipboard of the same thing if I really like them let's see Jen Hadfield again stickers along the way layer oh it's the along the way collection yeah couldn't get it there for a minute I hate Hate it that they do that at Tuesday morning. They completely cover up one of the stickers. That's a butterfly under there, a black and blue butterfly. I thought the house was adorable. I thought the flower, I, all of it, it's just adorable. And these are, as hopefully you can see, they are multi-layer. Um, very sweet. I mean, it's so cute. That bicycle is freaking adorable. So anyway, yeah, love that. Absolutely love that set for a dollar ninety nine. I think that's worth that. Let me show you this one. Oh now this is a different brand. Bow Bunny. They had a lot of Bow Bunny, but a lot of the Bow Bunny was very um, like red and black and dark pink and like these colors that I'm just not into at the moment. But this one I loved because birds butterflies dragonflies anything pretty much from nature flowers trees all those things i think you can fit them on virtually any scrapbook page and they work they look good i also love the word smile down there that is done in a floral um, print and that one says welcome and i don't know how i'm going to use that yet but i really liked it i thought it was cute it says love there there's some other words up here that I can't read because it's covered by the darn sticker from Tuesday morning. Um, BBO oh, Harmony. That's the name of the collection, I guess. Uh, they could have a bunch of tags. It, I, I just thought that was really, really cute. 319, I was like, oh, do I really want to spend 319? But fun to, ultimately, yes, it got me because of the colors and how many beautiful nature elements there are on there. Okay, we're getting towards the end, kind of, sort of, but not... <laughs> Heidi Swap. Uh, just these different pink bows. Um, as I said, I scrap mostly... Oh, excuse me, girly pages. I do a lot of pink. Um, I'm not right this second for some reason, but I generally do a lot of pink pages. Green and pink is my probably all-time favorite combination. Like a, a light, almost a limey green, and a and then any shade of pink with it. I love that combination. So these uh, are just little bows. I thought they were adorable. We'd never buy them for three ninety nine, but for a dollar ninety nine, yeah, sure, <laughs> right. Here's another Jen Hadfield piece. How is it that I never knew about Jen Hadfield until like yesterday and now I'm like one everything? Actually, that's not true. I did leave a lot of her stuff behind. <laughs> Doesn't look like it, but I did, I swear. So this is along the way again. Look, I mean, look at that girl. She's so cute. And I love the house. There's the girl up there that's covered by this sticker, but I know what she looks like, and she's freaking adorable. And it's too freaking sided, too. So, oh, a gin half build is American Crafts. Okay, I forgot that. There's the uh, there's the third girl there. Oh, look, there's the bicycle again. Um, I love that one. It says, I'll just be happy. I think I'll just be happy today. I really need to, like take that to heart let me tell you um beehive i mean just so many cute elements so 63 stickers a dollar 99 i think that is really really good price uh with my okay i have two more jen hatfield things so i'll show you those and then i'll show you the rest here we have some more pop-up stickers just flowers in this case these are from a I can't tell you what um, collection they're from because PP Dim, I'm not sure. 
stickers that I don't know if that has anything to, to even do in the name of the collection but aren't they cute bright cheerful and I just I love giving dimension to my pages absolutely love it not too much dimension so they won't fit in the you know uh, the, the little what you call them again <laughs> page it pocket pages or the whatever or the big ones the 12 by 12 but yeah some dimension and these have that so I love those here we have another sticker sheet. This one has 96 stickers on it for $1.99. This is My Bright Life collection. This one is actually slightly damaged. Um, it got bent down here, but I'm not really worried. It, it, it might stop me from using like one or two stickers, but that's it. Um, and I just think there's so much fun stuff on there. I love that there's a bug. A <laughs> VW bug. Um, there's a sewing machine that says so sweet. I think that's cute. I love globes. I mean, I love globes in general. So I, I don't have one in my house. Actually, I wish I did. But um, yeah, I love those. Um, yeah, we do have some cooking things over here, but you know, it's not too many, right? Um, like a mixer, a whisk, and a wooden spoon, and a kettle. A book that says my thoughts just just really 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 cute stuff so there we go had to get that then my final two things actually this one I really need to cut open which means I need to find my scissors oh shoot you know what I took my scissors out of the room I forgot <laughs> I went and used them in my bedroom so I had never seen this before. I'm sure most of you have, because I, I, I'm sure they had it at Joann's and or Michael's. But I didn't go to either store for many months, so I missed a lot of stuff. So paper lace. I had never, like I said, never seen this. So this was only a dollar ninety-nine. It says five ninety-nine originally, which I believe. Uh, a DCWV product and so I guess what you do is you just decide, <laughs> you can see like all the little pieces of paper falling out of it they're all going like all over the floor everywhere but you just press out all those pieces and then you have this piece of what looks like paper lace um, the colors are all <laughs> this is so funny how all the little pieces are falling out the colors are all pastels, so they give me a lot of options. Of course, I can always, oh, except for, apparently we have gold, too. Um, but I can always also spray them with an ink or paint them or whatever. Oh, polka dots, too. Oh, fun. I didn't see the polka dots before, I don't think. That'll be cool. So, yeah, I can see I'm getting a lot of use out of this and it talks about shows you like putting on candles and things I won't be doing that I'll put, be putting those on my scrapbook pages and then my final item okay who else loves these scrapbook these sticker books this is my second one so I can't remember what the first one was I got but the first one I had I got and I only got this a couple of weeks ago I have already completely cut it apart like every single sticker is cut apart and filed in the correct box can you believe that i can't i'm not usually that organized um so i just this was the case of i was looking for ones that weren't too planner oriented i mean like i know that these rectangles are sized to go in planner squares you know um that particular kind of planner that they sell at Michael's. Um, they fit exactly in those date blocks. Now, I haven't had one of those planners, or had for last year. This year I actually have a different one, but I can still use it. Um, but this one had enough stickers to me. I mean, like all of these down the side, basically. And then the little flags here, and even the rectangular ones, I, I would just like, especially sticking like one corner under a photo or something. I like that these are, um, what do they call them? I guess 
it's not vellum, I can't think what they're called, but you know, they're clear, so you don't see the edge really, so I really like those on my pages. These are sort of random, and you know what, if the worst came to the worst, and I never use them, oh well, no big deal. Um, these are definitely planner stickers, except for these, actually these, um, each one, you know, is like a little arrow. And I actually do know ways to use these in my scrap scrapping if I want instead of my planner. Um, lots of sayings on that one. See, here again, I mean, all these squares here, there's a fawn, there's a bird. Um, just love, it says there. Collect moments, not things. Uh, year peach, road trips. A uh, little birdie, all these stuff. It's like it doesn't have to be planner, you know. I can use these. Um, I actually used, I think, one of these flags in a page just this week. Week. So, okay, today today's goals maybe is more, you know, again more planner, but not a big deal. These are like washi strips and work great with either planners or scrapping saying that page and that page and it's funny because I went to Joann's um, a couple of days ago because I was doing some embossing on a page and I didn't have an embossing pen so I went to Joann's to get an embossing pen and I saw these sticker books and I looked at a few of them but they were not on sale and the price was just so ridiculous I was like yeah that's not going to happen but this, uh, yeah, I like it. <laughs> More of those funky ones, but oh well. Hang on, let's see what else. I'll finish showing you everything that's in there. Do -do 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 -do. It's sort of going through the same things again. But I don't think they are exactly the same. I don't think like that last bunch had exactly the same stickers. I don't know. No, it doesn't. No, uh, no, I'm pretty certain it doesn't. So here we go. Almost, almost finished here. Anyway, so I think they're fun. I like the colors in this one. They are a combination of brights, uh, gold, and um, those ones are day of the week stickers, and I generally never know what day of the week my photos were taken, so I probably won't use those on that anyway <laughs> but uh, you know nice combination of colors and $6.99 and they really were $19.99 because it says here you know compare estimated value of $19.99 they were $19.99 at Joann's and I look at that and I go no sorry I mean however much I really really love these sticker books and I do love them I am not paying $19.99. Heck, I have to like talk myself into paying $6.99 for them at Tuesday morning. I'm that I really am that cheap with my scrapbooking supplies. 1384 stickers. I thought that was pretty good. So there you have it. My latest haul. And um, I really don't haul that much. And I have to be careful because I have a very limited space here. Um, so you know, I'm can only get as much as I can make fit, which is one reason why I'm doing things like breaking down things like this and putting them into one container that can, can take, you know, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of them. So there you go. There's my uh, hoard for Saturday, September 8th, 7th, sorry, was when I did it, for $40, $50.70. I think it's pretty good. By the way, if any of you want uh, SKU numbers so you can check and see if your um, Tuesday morning has a specific item, let me know. Okay, just leave a comment below. I'm on YouTube usually, oh, <laughs> at least six times a day, so I should see your comment pretty quickly. All right? Thanks for sharing. Hope you enjoyed my haul. Bye.